Hello there, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In previous video, we learned about in range CSS pseudo selector. In this video, we will see indeterminate CSS pseudo class selector. So, indeterminate is a pseudo class selector in CSS, named for a state that is neither checked nor unchecked. It's that in between state that we might consider the maybe between yes and no options. The state is not fully determined. That's why the name is indeterminate. So the most common place we might see this in place with checkboxes in a form. As you can see, this is unchecked version. This is checked form and this is the indeterminate. There are few quick things about when it comes to checkboxes that are worth noting before going into further CSS. So first of all, there is no way you can set checkbox to an indeterminate state in HTML. Let me show you what it does it mean. For example, we have an input type is equal to checkbox and check check is its default state. So Let's see how it looks. So this is a default check checkbox. Just like this, you cannot set indeterminate is equal to empty or indeterminate state. You cannot set like this. This won't work. We can see so so you cannot set in determinate state using html so this is incorrect at the, at the time of this video javascript is the only way to setting the indeterminate state of a checkbox let me show you how for example we have one checkbox and the ID is demo, for example, and using JavaScript, let me open the JavaScript file. Using JavaScript, you can write down checkbox variable is equal to document dot get element by id id value of the id is demo right this is the element which we have to select and checkbox dot indeterminate is equal to true so as you can see, this is how it looks in Google Chrome. So the limit limitation of this example is the checkbox can never get back to its indeterminate state once it is changed. Let me show you. So now we have checked this checkbox and we cannot make it indeterminate state again. So this is the limitation. We can achieve that using one of the JavaScript example. Let's see how. In HTML, in the input tag, let's say we have an event, on click event, and we are writing one function. So let's write down that function in the JavaScript file. function toggle and let's say id is equal to demo it's a variable you can write any name you want demo dot read only it is a property of checkbox if it is read only demo dot check property is equal to demo dot read only property is equal to false we can make it false and 
else if if demo dot checked is not there it is not checked then we can make it demo dot read only is equal to demo dot determinate state is equal to true so this is the checkbox when you click on the checkbox it will get checked again it will be in determinate state and then it's unchecked so using this function you can achieve this yeah so it is purely a visual state a checkbox still only counts whether it has been checked or unchecked regardless of the way regardless of whether we have activated an indeterminate state in clear words indeterminate mask the actual value of the checkbox and does not count as a value of its own so it depends on the browser which browser you are using let me show you how it looks in different browsers in chrome indeterminate state look like this in edge it looks like this one in safari it's not working in android it looks like chrome and in i11 it's not working so it depends on the browser which browser you are using similar to checkbox you can also apply indeterminate state to radio buttons as well so you can apply to radio buttons at a group level whether the entire group is considered to be an intermediate state if no option is selected let me show you with an example um to be honest in the radio button you can't show that with the visual effect because it it won't it won't let you see if the radio button is selected with intermediate state or not so that's what with radio button you can apply intermediate state for progress bars so what is that exactly is progress bar let me show you with an example let me remove this function in html let me remove this boxes here i am writing one progress tag right with mean value is equal to 0 max value is equal to 100 for example and default value you can set it to 50 and progress is closed right if another progress bar you can say a progress tag max value is equal to 100 and the closing progress bar as you can see in chrome it looks like this right so using css what you can do you can write down let me close the javascript file you can select the progress tag the progress you can give background color to white for example display block and width 100% okay and to use in the intermediate state you can use pseudo class intermediate but it's working for only webkit browser so you need to write down webkit dash progress bar and background color something else let's say black so let it get reload as you can see in the result this is the background color sorry 
This is the background color with WebKit progress bar. So let me inspect this. So the background color is white here, but when we are applying intermediate CSS pseudo class, it is applying this black color with this intermediate WebKit progress bar. So it is only applying for Chrome WebKit browsers. It is not much supported for other browsers. It is working in Firefox as well, but Chrome is pretty much good for this CSS pseudo class. And for this, it is the default one. So this is also working as expected. So this is all about indeterminate CSS pseudo class. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel for more CSS and JavaScript videos. That's all for this video. See you next time. Thank you.